Hello friends, we really need to tidy this up some more today. I'm hoping to get most of this off the floor. I'm hoping to get most of the stuff off the floor and off the benches. I think I'm going to start with cleaning up. Should I start with the bench or maybe I should start with the floor. There's still a lot of makeup in this box here so maybe I'll just empty this box, organize it. Also this one over here has got some, no wait that's for declutters I think. Yeah I decluttered those pillows last time. Okay we need to empty this box here. I think I'm just going to like put everything on the cardboard box underneath and like yeah go through it So here's everything that was in the box. I'm pretty sure this was stuff that was like on my shelves and on my desktop and Hamish and Reese must have just like put it in this box for me to go through, you know, because my room was not perfectly clean when um, we shifted. So in here I can see there's a lot of like brand new foundation, some bits and bobs that I probably had on my desk like eyeliners and things, lash glue, lipsticks. Did I say lots of body stuff? Oh my gosh, my memory is not good today because Porter has his first day of daycare today. Oh my gosh, I'm like filming now to take my mind off it, but okay. Last week we did three stay in place, so we went for a couple of hours each day with um, Porter. So we did three days last week and he freaking loved it. Like he barely looked for us. Here's a picture of him today. He was happily asleep in the nap room in a bed with his little cuddly, with his sleep suit on, with his dummy. Here's a picture of him playing with a little tambourine thing. Like he's doing so well, but my brain, man. I can't stop worrying and thinking about him, of course, like I know that's normal, but he really enjoyed it. Some people say day two's the worst, they said it at daycare today, they were like, oh day two can be worse because they kind of know that you're leaving them this time, you know. So we'll see how tomorrow goes, but I mean, so far he's living his best life. He had cornflakes today with all the big kids, he's sitting there like smashing them, chucking his hands in them, loved it. He played with jelly, <laughs> like he did all these fun things that you know, aren't normal things for home, I guess, you know? He is okay. And it's cool because it means, yeah, I've got time to do my work and do my thing and all of that, but I don't know. So I'm gonna organize all of this into little groups so that it's easy for us just to like come along and put it into the right drawers. So I'll put all of the foundations over one side. Okay, like majority of that is like glowy skincare slash fake tan stuff. I almost need a space for this because I used to just have it in like my new stuff drawer but that doesn't really work. I don't know. So I am going to just grab stuff and put it away. Um, I'll do that with you guys. I'm just going to put my lash and brow tint in here too. Just because I feel like, I don't know, that's like a common sense spot for it. And the auric one's right there. Oh, I love this drawer. Let's do all of these gems and bits and bobs. It's like a test for me to see if I can remember where everything is first go. Yep. I have Duraline, which I should probably put with the pigments and things because you kind of use it with pigments. It's by Inglot and you just mix it together to create like a liner. Just in here. I think I've got some single shadow somewhere. Oh gosh, this is a test. Yep, okay, nailed it. It's these like top coats by Ofra. And back in this drawer, I have another of my eye halos. I'm just moving some stuff. 
There's another one somewhere. Buy products. That'll be easy. We do not have enough room in the new stuff drawer for the new lip kit, so I might just pop those into a lip drawer. Lip pencils, glosses, lippy sticks back there. Where to put them? Just stick them down here for now. Like I said, the goal for now is just to get the floor tidy at this point and get the desk tidy, get everything in a place, and then um, I might do a declutter series. And in that declutter series, I might reorganize certain things as well. Whoosh. This color is so pretty. It's like a dupe for the um, dual one, kind of. There's the dual one. It's a little bit more peachy, but it gives that same kind of effect because it's kind of neon. We've got some foundations. This is like a backup. I've already got one open. So is this. I've just like put them in here, but I don't even think they'll fit. Like I've got them in the primers and all sorts of stuff, like up here. But I don't think... Yeah, nah. I should probably just keep... Oh, man. <sighs> I feel like I'm not in the right mindset for this right now. I'm like... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not in the right headspace. This is very rare for me. I'm gonna get rid of medium neutral. I feel like I'm more of a light medium. Oh my god, I've got the new Makeup by Mario foundation as well. Which I'm so excited to try. It's hiding just there. Does this shut now? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. We are back. It's actually been two days since my last little one. I was just feeling very frazzled the other day and it just wasn't working out. And that is very rare for me. You guys know that usually... Anything for me can be fixed by just chatting to you guys, chatting to the camera, doing some makeup y stuff, but it was just not happening the other day. So today is day three of Porty um, going to daycare. So I'll give you a little update. So on Monday, he did amazing. We got little photo updates all day. Um, they made Porter like, yeah, this first day thing, and it was just the cutest thing in the world. I'm just gonna put some of these in here. I don't really know where I'm going to put these yet. Like all of these like body glow type products. He did so good. He had two naps, which is normal. Like at home normal, I mean. He had bottles before each nap. He had food, snacks, crackers. He had like a risotto with vegetables. Like heaps of stuff. May as well put these upstairs too. Or maybe I can put these with like some of the hair care and stuff. Because I'm going to have all my hair tools and stuff in one drawer and my hair care stuff in one drawer. I have a lot of PR parcels so I thought I would just open some while I show you guys. Anyways, he um he did so good. He was happy. He didn't cry. He was playing with the other kids. He was playing by himself. He was smiling. He was cuddling. Great. Day two was a short day because we had a hospital appointment in the afternoon for him because he had some health concerns when he was a little bit younger, so we just have to go every like three months to like monitor him. I won't go into detail, just out of his privacy. So we went into that in the afternoon, but he went to daycare in the morning beforehand and um, yep, he had a nap, he had a bottle, he was happy as, he was happy to see us when we got him. There was like a slight tear before we left because we said bye um, and I think because he realised that time we were actually leaving, you know, it wasn't just like a joking bye or anything. <laughs> Um, he'd like learnt and then today was a, well, is a full day so he's there now and he's had a bottle and a nap and everything I think he's probably still asleep now this looks pretty some matte palettes what's this coal eyeliners oh brown and black love he had a couple more tears this morning but I honestly think it was because he was so tired when we dropped him off he was like almost falling asleep in the car um, he woke up a little bit earlier today because he had an earlier night last night because after the hospital and everything, he had like a short nap in the afternoon, you know, it was just a snowball effect. But um, once we left, like I just texted them and they said, no, he's fine, he's not crying, he's had a bottle, he's gone straight to bed, like he was just so tired. So hopefully he has a really nice day playing today, but basically I'm feeling a lot better now. Yesterday to kill the time while he was at daycare, I went into Exo Beauty with Hamish and we did like a bunch of work, which also made me feel better, I felt like accomplished, you know. Love face palette. I'm gonna open the rest of these and fast forward and then let's continue like 
putting stuff away. I just wanted to like unbox all of this mail because it's once again it's just making mess in my room. But I think once the room is completely clean, guys, I will start doing like monthly PR unboxings again. I did like get off some PR lists because you know when I wasn't doing my PR hauls, I was just like getting over like getting so many packages, which sounds very like bratty. But it's just you know one of those things. Um, but. Yeah, like I still get sent enough to do a PR haul. They might not be as huge, but it's probably a good thing. And I can do some more giveaways and stuff to share the love. Anyways, we're gonna fast forward. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it made its way to me. So. Danessa Myers was kind enough to send me the new blurring balm powders and they sent it to my old address and then it kind of got lost because I tried to like afford it or something like that but it's made its way to me. I've now got two of these so um, we will do an Instagram giveaway I reckon. I'm so excited to try these though. I'm going to keep it like this so one of you can win like a PR package. So yeah once this video goes up I'll organise it on my Instagram. You guys can come enter but uh look they're so pretty i won't open it but essentially it's like a balm like you know the texture of a balm but it's a blush and it's meant to be a powder like how cool is that it's like a really out of it kind of formula so one of you guys can win this i love danessa myrick's beauty i love so many of their products this was sent to my old address so this collection's probably well gone where are my scissors i really want to sit with my legs crossed but i just don't want to like put my whoops feet on YouTube so I need to wear some socks. <laughs> Happy holidays. So this was for Christmas. Cute hat. Chocolates. I have to give them to someone else because I am trying not to eat like refined sugar right now okay and I'm actually going very well so I'll give them to my brother-in-law. That smells so masculine it smells like Hamish. <laughs> what is the scent called? doesn't really say. Mm, it smells good. It smells like sweet but masculine. Some brushes. I think I will give them to one of you as well. Super Shop eyeshadows. I'll make a little giveaway box. So a second giveaway for someone else. So I'll put that live when this video goes up too. Start there. I'm sure I'll find some other things as we unbox to put in there. One of you can have the candle too actually. I've got so many candles you guys. That smells so yum though. Like I'm very tempted but I've actually got like eight candles or something in my cupboard and how many candles can you actually go through you know what I mean sage the day oh that's very pretty love the colors that's so cute as well pinky tones silveries tote that's so pretty that'd be so nice for soft glam I'll put that in a giveaway and oh my goodness these colors are so cute Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. There's like this beautiful taupey silvery kind of vibe. Really cool for highlighting or on the lid. This beautiful golden pink and this beautiful like soft minty sage green. Oh, new lipsticks. So I think they're all reds. So there's two lip crayons and two of the um like thin lipsticks I guess. I'm gonna pop these in a giveaway because I don't really use red enough to justify keeping them. They look really pretty though the packaging. Some new concealers from Ofra. I'll have to just put them aside. I'll figure out what my shade is and then I'll donate the rest. $22. I don't know. Have any of you guys tried this? Ooh pretty. Brow sculpting gel. I'll give that to me you guys. And I think I've already tried this before. I'll give that to you guys too. Let's look at these lashes. Are there any I want to give away? I'll give you a glue because Lord knows I've got enough. Some fresh concealer and baking powder. I think I've already got this one, sugar cookie. This is a hand mirror, it says. I'll probably put this in the giveaway. It's a cute love heart. Put that in a giveaway, but I might have to do a second giveaway now because the box is full. And we've got a sponge applicator. Oh my gosh, these are really cute. Look, little love heart sponges for under the eyes. I just want to feel what the texture feels like. Very soft. They're very thick and puffy. Look how huge that is. Is that necessary? It's like the size of a slice of pizza. <laughs> I am going to 
kind of just clear away all of the recycling and rubbish and stuff off of my floor. I don't know if I'll film this part because it's kind of pointless. Let's do it before and after. And I'm also going to put away my stuff, like my lighting gear and all that. I'm going to put that in my office because I've got like a lot of storage in my office just next door where I was going to put lighting and things to get out of here because it just kind of gets messy. Oh, I've got some more packages to open too. I've got recycling, rubbish, stuff. So any recycling rubbish, I'm going to move. Here is the after. There's still obviously stuff everywhere. Those are the giveaway boxes. Giveaway. Um, I got rid of a lot of the rubbish and recycling. We're looking a bit tidier. I also put away like, you know, stuff that belonged in other areas of the house. Like stuff that needed to go back to my personal bathroom and everything like that. So, lots of hair tools in here and in here and laying around on the ground and stuff. Got some more packages which I'll open quickly first. And then let's put away some hair stuff and other bits and pieces. By the way, I got an update um, from Porter's Care at Daycare on this app and it's just like an overview of his first week at daycare and <gasps> I can't show you like all the screenshots because you can see the name of his daycare sometimes but it's like from observing you, I can see you're a keen explorer filled with curiosity and you make your way around checking out anything and everything that catches your eye. You settled in so well and give everyone big cheesy smiles when they talk to you. You are happy to find comfort in a cuddle and then it's not long before you're off playing again. We've been spending lots of time together as you settle in and become comfortable with all the new environment and the new faces around you. You've shown me you love to climb, you spend time at both the indoor climbing and outdoor climbing and your confidence to give these obstacles obstacles ago has grown even more over the last couple days. You enjoy sitting at the table with friends to eat. We've been practicing to feed yourself. Look at my little man. I literally like my whole life I've never felt oh my god I'm gonna cry. I've never felt like prouder just prouder in general like I'm so proud of him. He's literally like a little baby and I'm like I'm so freaking proud of him already like he just already blows my mind with how like He's just so kind, so gentle, um, yet like just loves to explore and play and just check everything out. I don't know, like I'm just, I'm obsessed with him. I love him so much. Just so many of the pictures, like he is just, I've just zoomed in, just such a happy chap. And he's been amazing at home after daycare, like overnight, like he's so settled, like I don't know. I feel like I haven't made a bad decision, which is a relief. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I wasn't planning on keeping this, but Loki love it. I'm not even gonna like look at the stuff. I just need to give you guys some. I've got too much stuff. Like, what even are they? <gasps> Wait though. Loki obsessed with that color. Maybe I'll just keep one or two. <laughs> so pretty. I've got one similar to that. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'll keep this one. Ooh, that's so pretty as well. Woo! Colourpop do such good colour schemes. Like, such good colour schemes. Okay, I'm gonna put some aside for like a whole nother giveaway because there's just so many things. These are all really nice colours. It's looking so tidy! Look at all the floor space! Whoops, my tripod just fell out. Okay, but let's. Oh, I need to put that light away too. Um, yeah, let's go over here. So we're gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. My I, tripod, sorry, is doing weird things. I almost said iPod, what the heck? I feel like half of people these days won't even know what an iPod is. <laughs> we've got two layers, free. Um, we've actually also got this layer up top. Oh, you can't see, above all of the lashes. You know the lashes, I've got the one above. So we've got plenty of space. Maybe above the lashes I could put some like, I don't know, body glow and like, body products. Down here perhaps some big clear drawer large and wides. bathroom. I actually went and put the other, because I had like a pewter coloured hairdryer and a white one. So the white one's in my white bathroom, the pewter one's in my dark bathroom. But I've got a pink one, which I thought was cute for videos because it's pink. 
this is the one Hamish has been using. I've been trying to let my hair blow, I mean, air dry a lot lately. I do love this. And now Hamish can use a pewter colored, like taupe colored hair dryer <laughs> instead of the pink one. He didn't care, but I want the pink one in here. Got some attachments. I wonder if this tub will fit up here. No. I've got my um, like cordless hair straightener, which I'll just put down the bottom as well. I'm actually gonna have to use like all of the space pretty much just for hair tools almost. This is um these like hair tool things. Maybe I'll pop it in the spare bathroom or my bathroom upstairs for when I am doing my hair up there. Because I also have another one and another one. Oh my gosh, you can't see wait. I'm just gonna use these white ugly ones while I figure out where everything's going. By the way, I've been reading your comments about the new storage and it seems to be a very split kind of opinion where some people think this is like so ugly, the clear dividers. And then other people are saying things like, oh my God, this kind of storage scratched an itch. I didn't know I had like, people love it, how it's a little bit more chaotic. Um, but yeah, I've replied to a few comments and at the end of the day, like I just have outgrown that last type of storage I had. I'm over it. I needed something fresh, like creatively, I needed something different. I needed like, just to switch things up and the chaos of it all is appealing to me, strangely enough. It's making me more inspired. I love, like I've said, I like how I can grab out whole trays of things and like play with the trays rather than like kind of being restricted and having to like pull out each thing one by one. I completely understand where some of you are coming from where you say like you preferred the old one like aesthetically like, yeah, it was, really satisfying how everything had like a spot you know but I don't know I've outgrown that I've had it for so long now and I just needed something new. Hair straighteners and I'm gonna put a adapter cord because a lot of my curlers and things are American. Put them on there. It's just good to have them because sometimes I misplace them or use them somewhere else in the house and then you know I'm panicking because I can't do my hair. So I've got all my curlers here. I've got a couple of new GHDs which I might donate or something. Because, I don't know, they're kind of similar to other ones I already have. I love GHD though, clearly. Look at this drawer. GHD, 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 GHD. <laughs> and then GHD, and in my bathrooms, GHD, GHD, GHD everywhere. So maybe some hair care products in here or something. I've got so many hair accessories, but I feel like they're not gonna fit here. Some things that I will take upstairs, like I've got my detangling spray I bought recently because my hair was getting so tangled, but ever since getting layers, it's not so bad. Dry shampoo and things. Oh, that's probably good to keep some dry shampoo down here just for if I'm filming and just want to like freshen my hair up a little bit. Don't know where the lid's gone, of course. Very Molly Shine Mist. We've got some serum. Another Shine Mist. I don't really see myself or feel like I ever use shine sprays because I don't know I feel like my hair's quite shiny luckily as it is. Some little hair oh that's not gonna fit. Can I fit more in here. Okay good. Oh my god I love this but I'm gonna put it upstairs for when I'm washing my hair. I've got most I don't really use that I might give it to Hamish because I think he uses most sometimes. I might put some of these in the downstairs bathroom for where my mum comes to stay too. But this is another um, volume foam and more curly ever after and straight on spray. So I'm gonna put yeah, some in here for my mum to use when she comes over. A mousse, a curly ever after, a rootless spray because I don't use that every time and I can just go grab it if I want to. I might give her the one with no lid. I might give her this shine spray because I also have this shine spray. I might put this serum upstairs. Will that shut? Yep, cool. So in this top section, um, I'm just gonna put a few hair accessories. So that's all my hair stuff, um, minus the hairbrushes, which I can put in here somewhere this in here if it fits with the other title hair tool. They're a little bit big and chunky but there we go. Oh I've got a headband too. Don't really know if that'll fit. Maybe I'll just unbox these. There we go. 
cute. And I have like wigs, hair extensions, things like that, which I might put in my walk-in wardrobe because it's not the kind of thing I really need access to. I mean, I don't even wear hair extensions anymore because my hair's so long, but I don't want to just get rid of them just in case I ever want to add some in for a certain look or whatever. Oh, I found another dry shampoo. Up in the top drawer above where my lashes are, what do I do here? Like I could put um, accessories like bobby pins, hair clips, hair ties, just all of those little knick-knacky things like face um, gym stuff, you know, like these type things, which look shady, but they're not, I promise. But then I also have the space down here. I don't know where the heck I just put all of my bobby pins. I just saw them and now I can't see them. And I'm confused because I was going to put bobby pins in one of these. Oh well, whatever. Let's go back up top and let's just put in some accessories and things. Oh, I've got some little hair clips. I'll just chuck them there. Oh, I see the bobby pins. They are here. Just put hair ties and stuff in here. See what I mean about how these would be really, really good for um, organizing jewelry, these things. These here are stencils for like doing swatches and things. So many of these hair clips so I'm gonna put some in a giveaway for you guys but they're not in packaging they're just gonna be flat like this so yeah normally they come this is the old packaging but you know in a box similar to that It's functional, everything has a place. We're pretty much at the point now where there's a place for everything, so I just need to go around my room and just put everything else away. Don't know if I'll do that on camera with you guys or if I'll just do it like, you know, in my own time, we'll see. And like I mentioned, we will fine tune when I do declutters, I think. If, you know, I make room somewhere, if I wanna move stuff around. I know there's still like a drawer or two um throughout here that has nothing in it so yeah we'll just kind of go with the flow let's see what happens but thank you guys for the love so far on this series um i'm glad lots of you like it sorry to those of you who don't love it but <laughs> i guess you can't please everyone right you can't always please everyone and at the end of the day like i feel like this is gonna work for me and anything that's not working will fix i am pretty obsessed with all of this hair care stuff it's um i don't know it makes me happy Oh, I feel inspired. Every time I do one of these videos, I feel so inspired. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.